The Tweed is the noblest of all Scottish rivers, is the assertion in Chambers' Encyclopedia, as its founder was William Chambers, a son of the next town of Peebles. Born in 1800, he was a bit of a Dick Whittington character, leaving the poverty of his childhood at 13 to seek fame and fortune in the capital. He even became Lord Provost of Edinburgh, and with his younger brother Robert founded the famous publishing firm. Upon returning to the town in retirement, he left the legacy of the gallery and library. The river is celebrated for its salmon, and the town's coat of arms bears the motto, Against the stream they multiply. The town takes its name from the Celtic word pebble or tent, as it was probably an early nomadic campsite. Robert the Bruce granted the town the right to hold a fair, and James I, the poet king, wrote the poem Peebles to the Play, whilst the sixth James wrote the charter, proclaiming the Beltane Fair that is still read at the celebrations today. Many writers have been associated with the town, including Robert Louis Stevenson and John Buchan, whose family were lawyers hereabouts. The firm of Thorburn, Lyon and Buchan still practice in Peebles. Buchan was the eldest of four boys and two girls. The next eldest was his sister Anna, later to become another novelist, under the pseudonym of O. Douglas. She lived for many years at Bank House, as did William Buchan, a well-respected local historian and writer. Leave Peebles, passing Needpath Castle, dramatically positioned high above the Tweed. We travel on towards Broughton. <laughs>